Welcome to Catherine Raker's World. Innovation. Culture. Adventure. Fashion and health. Artists. Destinations. Traditions. This is Catherine Raker's World. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of Catherine Raker's World, and I invited my friend Terry Young, who's on our show all the time, to do a DIY project, and we're going to do it all on Mardi Gras. So I did a beautiful wreath, which I'm going to, you'll see the picture up on the, on the television show, Terry. Um, and I did it for my daughter and I'd never made a Mardi Gras wreath before. And I've been through all of the customs and cultures of Mardi Gras, but most people think it's a, just a big party. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at a king cake right there. And we're going to tell you the history of the king cake and all of the wonderful uh, behind the scenes history of Mardi Gras. And, and it actually is a religious holiday usually, and it's called Fat Tuesday. Right. But it goes from Epiphany through actually uh, Ash Wednesday before Lent. That is, and actually they have everything on Fat Tuesday, and then it starts Lent the next day. And it's in February this year. I'm very excited oh. about it. And the other thing is that um, Epiphany also marks the beginning of Carnival, another festival season that leads up to Easter. So Carnival ends with Fat Tuesday, like I said, also known as Mardi Gras. Carnival season is marked with parties and feasts and parades, and it's during the midwinter mid festival season. So it gives them, you know, because usually during winter it's kind of dull and gray or whatever. Right. And, and it's also known during that period of Lent a time to repent before Easter. So that's where it gets its, its um, history from, okay? And one of the things that, the nice things about uh, Mardi Gras is a king cake. And I want to talk to you about what it is. It is a rich pastry, right, that is baked into the shape of a circle, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and they use a bruche dough or a Danish dough to make it and twist it in a traditional ring like this. And I'm going to show you what the tr traditional ring looks like. It looks like this before you put the icing on it, right? And so, but we're going to hide the baby. And one of the wonderful things about um, the baby is today's kings use a small plastic baby like this, and they hide it in it. And if you are lucky enough to get it, right? Right, the piece. And you yeah. don't put it in the oven when you're making this, by right. the way, because it'll it'll melt, <laughs> right? right? Um, so I'm going to show you, if I was just, if I just baked it, you wait until it cools off, and then you cut a slit somewhere. Don't let anybody know where you're doing it, right? right? And then you put the baby in there, and we hide the baby inside the cake itself, right? And they're not going to see it, right, because I'm right. going to hide it. And then what we're going to do, right, is we're going to put it here, and we're going to do one. I've already put the baby in there, okay? So... <laughs> What you're going to do next is, this is very traditional in, during Mardi Gras time. It's very sweet. Sometimes it has cream cheese in it, right. all kinds of different things. We are going to decorate it like it's supposed to be decorated. So I, I went ahead and got these wonderful sprinkles. And you can get those at any store, right? right. And you want to sprinkle it in different areas, different colors. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to you want to mm. use yellow, traditional yellow, okay. not pink, okay. yellow. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So this is actually still wet, which is good. And then you're going to do green, right? And and purple. 
Go ahead. Good. And then purple. Yeah, put a little bit more in there, girl. Okay. And then you can use pink. Okay. So that's what it looks like, you know, when you're done with it. And then what you do is you decorate it like this with these wonderful beads. And you can put them around it or whatever onto your thing, right? And like that. So it's really cool. Then you can put the baby like here if you want to, right, to show that, Decorate. right? right? Decorating it. But besides that, um, it's so delicious, actually. It's, it's actually so delicious, and we're going to have a taste of it after we do our, our Mardi Gras wreath. Okay. Because you want to celebrate it this time of the year, and this is kind of fun to do. So it was a challenge for me to learn how to make this, but once I learned, it was nothing. And, and you are going to learn at, as well. And do it. you can do it at home very easily, and it really isn't that costly to do it, especially... Mm -hmm. Uh, right now, I went out and I went to a couple of craft stores, and right now, the the actual netting, especially the, it's almost like Christmas netting that you can use, right. is on sale, and I found it for 50% off. Oh, wow. So that makes it even better for mm -hmm. you to do. And you're going to be able to keep this until next year if you want to, or change it up, That's or right. whatever. And then go out, I you know, since we don't live in New Orleans... I went to the dollar stores, I went to the party stores, I went different places and got different things for us to decorate. So what we're going to do is we're um, going to take a short break and we'll be right back. And by that time, uh, we're going to bring out all the beautiful things that we're going to decorate onto our wreath, okay, okay. and show you how to do it. Okay, we'll be right back. We're back on... Catherine Raker's World doing a DIY project for Mardi Gras. And this is the type of wreath ring you're going to need. And you're going to be doing it this way, Terry. Okay. Okay. Instead of this way. So basically, you're going to be tying on these pieces of ribbon, or not ribbon, they are a ribbon, but they are a net type ribbon. And they also have like gold and purple and green sparkly things in. And they, if you're not careful with them, they shred. So I'm going to show you how to do it and then you're going to do it. And then we're going to, we're going to um, wire it. And I need some of those wonderful um, ribbons that you cut ahead of time. And we're going to show you how to do that as well. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to roll, roll the ribbon like this, Cherry. So you just do it like this, okay? which makes it really simple, okay? And then you take it and put it in between your hand, right? Because you want to keep it that way. You don't want to have to keep on going back and forth. You could probably use like little barrettes or something to hold each one of them until you got ready to do it. So then we're going to do this. And then I want this right here, that ribbon that we cut. And we cut it just a little bit longer. These are six inches. This is about seven inches. Okay. And then we're going to add a green one to it. Right. Just like that. And roll it. Right. Yep. And then what I want to do is I want to take my pipe cleaner. pipe cleaner and see that's what it looks like when you're doing it. Right. And you're going to secure it and twist it really hard like that and you'll see and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to go all the way to the end here and i'm going to secure it onto the wire so what i do is i turn it over like that so i can see what i'm doing and then i twist it really hard and then you can cut those off in the end okay. terry okay but you want to get it to look like this Okay, so it's, and I noticed that these are in groups. So what's yeah? Those you're going to do like ten in ten. each, okay. ten in each of these little sections. So it makes it really full. So let you, I'll let you do the next one, and I'll keep on rolling because we want to show what a whole section looks like. Okay, so you just want to roll like you're just rolling dough or whatever, and and then you hold it like that. Go to the next one real quick. And can the camera come and see what we're doing here? And I'll put that right here. 
Right. And do you want a ri- do you want a ribbon on each one of no, them? No, I do them every other one, okay. Terry. Okay. Okay, because you don't want a whole bunch of ribbons everywhere. Um, and I'm doing one this year that's going to have a black hat with a little bit of gold and feathers. Ooh, that'll be pretty. And I mean, you can decorate it with coins, all kinds of things, and a little bit of candy. And uh, on my first one that I did, they throw candy on, um, actually, can you hand me one of those ribbons, please? Oh, yeah. Um, they actually throw candy from the actual, um, the floats and stuff. And, oh, okay. And what happens is they have to buy about $500 worth of candy for eight hours oh, or wow. throws or purses or whatever. Six hours, I'm sorry, Terry. They, they actually are on the, on, the, on the float for six hours. Can you imagine that? So I'm going to start over here for you, okay? okay? So you're basically doing the same thing on that side. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fill up all of these wonderful sections, and it's going to be so, you're not going to believe how big it gets. It's unreal. And we're going to show one that's halfway done, and then we're going to finish it for everyone, and then we're going to decorate it. How about that? That'll be pretty. Pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. Isn't hard to do this, is it? It isn't, it isn't hard at all. No, and I, I, really, I really enjoy doing it because, you know, I love DIY, and I know you do too. So oh, yeah. I think about maybe with everything that I, and, and when, you know, you can go as high as you want with this wreath, um, but this, this is a bigger wreath. This is one of the larger wreaths. This okay. is about 14 inches. So let me ask you a question. So sure. you're doing a ribbon, and then you're going to do how many without? Like one, you know, like one every other one you want to put every a ribbon on. Okay. Right. Okay. So this one right here doesn't, has a ribbon. So what okay. I'm going to do here is, you I'm not. You can put it here. Oh, There's I can, one without a ribbon. Okay. All right, I'll do it here. And then you can do the next one. And this is without. Yeah, so. right. So that's cool. And and this is really simple. And these will last forever, actually. Unless oh, you're, yeah. Unless you're going to put them out in the rain or something. I don't think I would suggest that you wouldn't do that. Actually, my daughter, believe it or not, Terry, is going to actually put it over her fireplace. Is a, is oh, a, okay. is a really pretty area. And, and show it off. So, and then but, you just cut these ends. Yeah, you cut of. the ends, right? Okay. And just like you would for any any type of ribbon that you really want to do like that, right? And um, um, we need to take a short break, my dear. And okay. if you really want to see us on television, you can go to KatherineRakersWorld.com. We're on everything from Spectrum to AT&T to Katherine Rager's YouTube, everything. We'll be right back after these important messages with Katherine Rager and Terry Young on DIY. We're back on Katherine Rager's World with Terry Young and Katherine Rager. And here's one of the smaller wreaths. This is a 12 inch. This is the 12 inch wreath that we finished in all kinds of really cool colors of purple, green, and pinks and golds. And so it's real simple. You usually have about 10 pieces that go in each segment, right, right Terry? Right. Now, here's one of the masks that we're using for the bigger wreath. And you can see this, how beautiful it is. And I got this in New Orleans when I was with my daughter. And we had a lot of fun at where they actually, the world of of all of the, where the floats and everything are made it's gorgeous so this is what we're gonna one of the pieces because it's a smaller wreath terry that we're going to actually put on the wreath so what we want to do if you don't if you would put this down for me we are going to glue gun this onto the wreath so we're going to do it like this and we're going to have our wonderful um camera guy um, actually watch me do this and you you really want to secure this Terry so we're gonna put uh, can you push that that glue stick in there for me oh good okay you want to secure this so it's not gonna come off especially if you ship it okay so I want to put that back here right and then I'm gonna put it on here just like that okay and then that'll stay secure 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put one of the crowns. It's a, it's a purple crown, and so I'm just going to glue gun the back of it, and then I'm going to put it on right there. Okay. Now, what we've got other mask nice. that we can put on, so we're going to put a mask on right here, right? And we'll do that right here, okay? And then you can see that one. But I have coins, and they throw coins. They throw all kinds of things uh, at Mardi Gras. So I'm going to do that right there. That's cool. And then let's put some more coins on it. And then we're going to actually, believe this or not, Terry, we're going to put on candy because they throw candy too. So people love to come to this because they get all kinds of things, right? Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. So I'm going to do this on it, and then I'm going to put it right here, okay? And you don't want to melt it totally. So we'll put that right there so you can see it. And then I want to put some of these in there that I actually had from Christmas, and it'll look really pretty. Watch. I'm just going to put it right in there like that, and then we'll do this. And you do not want to get this glue gun on. You don't want to burn your hands because oh it can be very dangerous. So, and then they have these glue pots now, Terry, that that you can just dip. And I just yeah, didn't I have did time. See those. Huh? I did see those. I thought they they're really nice to have, actually. So put one over here. Just do that, and they're really easy to place because they'll go right in there. Okay, and. Maybe turn that around a little, okay, that it faces out. And pretty soon we're going to be done with this because you don't want to make it so that you can't see the wreath, right? Right. right. Okay, I think one needs to go over right about here. Okay, and then we have a couple more coins. Yeah. And we have some of these masks. You've got to see these. These are really cool. And we got these, actually, I got these at the party source. So, okay. actually, all you have to do is like this, just glue it, and then stick it in right here. See how cute that is? And so simple. I would not do this with little kids. There's no way. <laughs> the glue gun. You don't want the glue gun with kids because, actually, it's too scary. And you don't want them to get their hands burnt or anything like that. So you can see how far you can go down with that. And let's look at it now. And, and here's another idea. You can take your beads. And you can take these. I cut these out, Terry. And actually, all you have to do is glue the bottom of this. And then you can stick this in right here. And look what you've got. You've got really cute. Oh, yeah. That's yes, cute. isn't that easy? And so on these beads, I like to drape them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue one end, right? And then I'm going to put it here, Terry, right? It's going to drape there. Let's use this a minute. It's going to drape here on this. I want to get that in there, All right? I can actually do it like that. How about that? And then just drape it like this and let the camera see this. You just want to drape it like that. So it just has a, an appearance, right? Wanna... And so I will glue this little piece right here to the, um, uh, what do you call it, to the ribbon, and it'll stay. So, and if you want to do another one of these, we can do that. Hold on. So you can do all kinds of different beads, Terry. Right. So that's cool. All right. And then maybe just some green ones over here. So the cameraman can see this. You can see the beads that I put on there. And then I don't, I'm not crazy about these. I think the we should go with the gold ones. They oh, look okay. much better. Okay. Okay. So and we're almost done with it. And when we're done with it, we'll show you. And just look at how pretty it is right now. And... Your friends are going to think you're the smartest thing. Wait a minute. This one's got, what is that, that got on a, there? It's got a. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll put that. I'll glue that part, Terry, so you oh, can't yeah. see it, right? So right here, I can do that, right? It's like the and, connector. Yeah, it's the, the center of it. Necklace. Right. And then just put that in there, push it in there, right? And then I just need this. I just need that for a minute, and then I can clean that off.
And then that'll just stay there like that. And I'll just Two put a little bit pounds. more glue in there and, and it'll just stay, right? Yeah. So this is really not hard to do. You know that I make lots of wreaths at Christmas time. Oh, yes. And <laughs> this has been a little challenge for me, actually. But once I learned how to do it, it's not hard for you to do it at home. And you will have such a beautiful, beautiful wreath in, in the end, right? We're going to do this one right here. Um, I think we need some of these right here in there. Okay. What do you think? All right. I'll just do this here and just drape that right there like that. And then drape it here. And I'll show everybody when I'm done. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that sweet? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I know you like to craft, right? Oh, yes. Okay. And let's do that. I want to get that one right there. I got to put another wonderful glue stick. glue stick in. Okay, get in there, buddy. And then just right under here, you want to put it. So, and then, then you want to put a couple more of these, right? And do that right there, right there, and then a couple here, and you're done. And you've got a wreath that you can be really proud of, get all that extra stuff off of there, right? right. Put one here. And I think we're done. What do you think? That looks good. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay, so show that. And whoops, I think this came off. I don't know. It wasn't glued on, apparently. Okay, put that one right about where, Terry? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Let us put it right there. Okay. All right, so that'll work. And so then you can, I use, when I hang these, Terry, I use those, um, uh, you can, they have a little, they're a piece that you put a little oh. piece of tape. Yes. Uh, I forget what they're called, but anyhow, they're simple to use. They come right off right. of your you door. Pull you pull the tape down yeah. and you can get it at any craft store or any grocery store has them. So that is our wreath. And now we're going to talk, we're going to put that out, and then we're going to bring the cake out, and we are going to clean this off, and we're going to have a piece of our wonderful cake. And you tell me what you think of that. All right. Okay. So let's put that here, and we could actually, uh, we'll put a little thing right there. No, you don't want that there. Okay. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back on Catherine Raker's World with Catherine Raker and Terry Young. We're back with Terry Young and Catherine Raker, and this is the piece de resistance. We actually get to taste the cake we made, <laughs> okay? Or, you know, you don't even have to make the cake. You can actually go buy a, uh, a broche cake or a Danish pastry cake, right. and then um, they usually put the white uh, icing on it. Right. You can actually make some additional white icing, like we did to make it, fast on TV, right. and then you just decorate it with that wonderful... With sprinkles. Sprinkles of what? Green, purple. And yellow? Yellow and what? pink. Pink. Okay, so what we're <laughs> going to do is I'm going to give you a piece of it, and I'm going to try a piece of it, okay? We haven't eaten dinner yet either, so we're just going to try it, and we'll tell you what we think of it. Here, Terry, and I, and we don't know who has the... We don't know who's got it. All right, so we're going to put that over there. We're going to try this. Hold on. That's lots of icing there. And we're going to try it and let you know what we think. So just dig in, Carrie. You got to taste it, Carrie. What'd you think? It's good. It's a little sugary, it isn't is it? It is a little sugary. And how did you enjoy making the wreath, the whole experience of Mardi Gras? Now, all oh, we have to do is go to New Orleans That's and check it out. <laughs> With the parades and everything else, you know, and I've never, I have to tell you this. I got to go to where they make all the floats. Oh, wow. Down on the waterfront. My daughter took me there. And it was really exciting because you get to actually meet the artists that are creating all the wonderful, uh, the wonderful uh, floats, right? Right. And. My daughter's going to be in one of the floats this oh year, gosh, which I'm really excited about. And so that's the reason why I'm really into the Mardi Gras scene. Oh, yeah. So I want to thank uh, you 
for coming and helping me. Oh, that's all right. I had fun. You had fun? Mm -hmm. And we learned all a little bit about Mardi Gras and what it's all about. And pretty soon it's going to be upon us. And Lent's going to be on upon us, so right. we're excited. So we want to say thank you so very much for joining us. And you'll be able to see this on all of our television stations around the country, on the Internet, or Catherine Rake, or YouTube. So go up and watch it and have fun with it. You can get all these different things at any of your hobby stores or Dollar General That's or right. Even parties. the Dollar Store carries. Yeah, the Dollar a Store lot carries a lot of what we got today. So thank you so very much for joining us. Don't forget to go to KatherineRakersWorld.com where you'll see everything. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon.